brand new high end restaurants with a shortage of servers. Now the airport is pulling out all the stops to land new hires. The Bay Area's sky high housing prices have made it hard to fill low wage jobs. It's become such a problem at SFO that restaurants are actually paying people just to interview. KPX 5 Susie Steinle is live at SFO with this dining dilemma. Susie. That's right, Juliet. They are offering anything from gift cards just to get people in the door to free BART fare to $500 starting bonuses. Now, this, the food scene here at SFO is bound to improve over the summer months, but getting people to agree to work here has proved difficult. Because this is not a normal airport kitchen. Normally, airport kitchens are much smaller. At the Samovar Tea Lounge in SFO's International Terminal, they're roasting rosemary and dicing duck for a Vietnamese dish. People used to think airport food meant bad food. Right, right. And now they don't have to think that anymore. It's really great. It's a new twist on airport food that's really taking off. This summer, SFO will see an influx of Michelin star chefs and fine dining options. But keeping servers on staff is proving difficult. Jennifer Gauthier says she has several servers driving two to three hours from Tracy every day in traffic. Some people can stick that out for a while, but after a while, that's not, it's not feasible. So we do have a hard time keeping staff. So some new restaurants are offering incentives like a $500 signing bonus or a $50 gift card just for interviewing. $500 is significant. But here in the Bay Area, um, it doesn't go that far. So it's still, a, I think, an uphill climb. Michael Burnick used to run California's Labor Department. He says with unemployment as low as it is, workers can be choosier. Virtually all of our counties are under 3%. In San Francisco, the unemployment rate last month was 2.1%. These are figures we haven't seen in four decades. Burnick says the unemployment numbers, like every Bay Area story, are tied to the cost of living here. Most people who might be looking for minimum wage jobs have left. Jennifer says it's all about finding the right employee. Many of her cooks are in culinary school, or servers are high school students who recently graduated. When you're here in San Francisco, you're sort of on the low income level at $120,000. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's it's hard. Now we know several Michelin star chefs are bringing their offshoots to SFO, and those restaurants are expected to open in the International Terminal at the beginning of August. Live at SFO, Susie Steimel, KPIX5.